and uh, welcome to uh, this uh, second segment of our MOOC uh, Toward Cooperative Commonwealth. Uh, and uh, this uh, first module in this second series of four uh, entitled uh, Democratizing Social Care from uh, Welfare State to Caring Society. Um, my name is John Rastakis. I am one of the co-founders of Synergia uh, and a member of the, of the steering group and your uh, instructor for this module. Um, democratizing social care uh, is a way into uh, understanding this um, crucial, uh, I would say, uh, nexus of uh, social welfare and social care as a, uh, a key to uh, uh, mobilizing uh, transition strategies that fundamentally alter uh, the relationship between uh, the state on the one hand and civil society on the other, uh, and uh, forms a, a, a basic uh, uh, framework for rethinking uh, how a new form of political economy can be organized around the uh, fundamental principles of uh, cooperation, uh, social justice, uh, and uh, public services and the role of governance from the perspective of uh, the common good as a basic principle of, of governance. Uh, we uh, have three uh, basic uh, objectives that we're aiming to explore uh, in this module. Uh, the first is uh, understanding the evolution uh, and the background for the rise of the welfare state uh, as a key uh, feature of uh, liberal uh, democracy, uh, parliamentary democracy uh, in the West, and uh, the ways in which uh, uh, social care played a fundamental role in the progressive uh, democratization of, uh, of government uh, in response to the provision of basic uh, goods and services to citizens as a key component of its, uh, of its uh, role uh, uh, for, as a state and as a foundation for its legitimacy uh, as representing uh, the public interest uh, and the common welfare of the citizens. Um, we then proceed to uh, look at how uh, neoliberalism over the last 40 years has um, set its sights really on the destruction of this uh, welfare state uh, model uh, and uh, sees this um, uh, process of uh, privatization and deregulation and minimization of uh, the state's public role as a key uh, strategy for the continuing uh, concentration uh, and, um, uh, and empowerment, even more if that's possible, of capital, uh, both in the West and globally. So um, the welfare state uh, as a guarantor of uh, social welfare and the well-being of uh, citizens and communities uh, is truly um, uh, uh, an arch enemy of neoliberalism uh, and all of the efforts uh, to minimize and marginalize uh, government and the role of the state is directed towards uh, this end of uh, disempowering and weakening uh, the public good uh, and uh, the common uh, welfare as it is represented in the institutions uh, uh, and services that uh, governments have traditionally provided uh, for the protection and uh, provision of welfare for their citizens. Um, the, um, uh, the third uh, point uh, that we want to explore uh, as an objective in this course is understanding the strategic connection between social care, uh, development systems, and uh, the politics of system change. Uh, we look at social care as a lens 
through which we can understand uh, what are the basic uh, dynamics uh, and interactions between the three great um, uh, regions, if you like, of our political economy, uh, government and the state on the one hand, uh, the market and the commercial economy uh, on the other hand, and the emerging role of the social and solidarity co uh, economy uh, uh, as a third sector. Um, another feature that uh, is highlighted in this module is an idea that was introduced in the first uh, segment of the course, which is Polanyi's idea uh, of the double movement, which is to say how societies and communities organize a counter response to the uh, uh, damaging effects of uh, market forces, unregulated market forces and capital on uh, both individual and social welfare and well-being. So the rise of uh, alternative forms of social care, of social co-ops, solidarity co-ops, uh, as they are, uh, as they took form in Italy and spread uh, across Europe and into North America and Quebec, for example, uh, the rise of uh, reciprocity-based and cooperatively-based forms of uh, social care, um, as we explore in the case of Fure Kupu in uh, Japan, uh, the efforts also on the part of progressive governments to decentralize and re-empower local communities in the design and delivery, for example, of healthcare systems, as we explore in the case of Kerala in India. All of these are instances of how communities uh, are regrouping uh, and reorganizing uh, to respond to the constant uh, erosion of uh, social care systems, which uh, individuals and communities depend upon for their social well-being. So these are some of the key things we explore over the course of this module. Um, uh, the rise of democratic forms and user control forms of social care, uh, the key role, for example, of uh, digital uh, and communications technology in generating new forms of collective uh, decision-making and control over the design and delivery of social care systems. And uh, finally, the emergence of a model uh, that truly embodies and is based on these ideas of cooperation of the common good uh, and of direct uh, control over uh, social goods and services uh, and the realignment really of the powers between state, civil society, and the market as embodied in the idea of the partner state. Um, we are um, exploring really a front line of a restructuring of the political economy through the lens of social care as a way of understanding how communities can use the ideas of cooperation, common good, technology uh, to reclaim uh, the public benefit and the public role of the state, but not only of the state, but of reconfiguring power relations in society such that civil society and the social and solidarity economy in particular play a much more prominent role in directing um, and ensuring that uh, public uh, benefit and the common good really form the foundation for a new vision of political economy, and in particular, in this case, for the provision of uh, social care systems. So um, I hope uh, you find uh, the material uh, that uh, we've curated for you in this module uh, uh, inspiring, um, practical in terms of how you can adapt it to your own context and your own community. And uh, I look forward to your reflections, uh, the sharing of your thoughts uh, and ideas uh, on the discussion platform in this module. And I will be dropping in uh, over the course of this week uh, to hear what people have to say and to offer my own reflections back uh, on the comments that are shared.
Uh, so thank you for being here. Um, it's a privilege and an honor to be with you over the course of not just this module, but the entirety of our, uh, of our course. And uh, I'll see you online.